draping. Well, there's not anything as much fun as draping. Let me get rid of Diffme 2013 here, and I'll go back. And um, let's see, simple drape. Yes. Well, it doesn't look as simple as I'd have liked, but it's uh, it's got a few things going on here. Oh, we got shape files that we're using to clip our data, I guess, and make a, a 3D PDF. So we've somehow, oh, I see. We've got, oh, I see. The shape files are being used to make the surface model. Generate the surface, yeah. So the shape file, the contours are generalized to get rid of the, the noise in them to make a, a smoother image. Um, they are forced into 3D based on the elevation attribute. Yeah. Um, then they're sent to the tin generator, which takes 3D, the, the new 3D lines and creates a, a tin surface out of that. Um, from that surface, we create a clipping boundary for the input image. Yeah. Um, to because at, at present, to assign an image as an appearance to a surface or a texture on a surface, they both have to be exactly the same size. Got it. So we're working on that for 2013. Yeah. Um, but currently in 2012, uh, they do have to be the same size. So then we get uh, this fine, uh, fine bit of image here. Yeah. You know, really, Dave, you and I should go there to make sure that this lines up. I. Packed already. Okay, good. So anyway, that's a 3D PDF, and yes, Virginia FME can make 3D PDFs, and um, they're very impressive, and we always say that even our parents can use these. Yes. So uh, there we go. I won't save any changes. So that's that one. There's a more, more complicated example that we'll send all to you, and let me just look here. This one here, um, I'll just quickly talk through. It brings a bunch of different input together. So we've got a raster image, we've got vectors, and we use something in here called the vector on raster overlayer, which basically draws rasters, no, draws vectors into rasters, burns them in. Yes. Um, and then I think we even have a 3D model in here too. Um, and I think actually this is, is this Mark Ireland's house in uh, Manitoba? Do you know? I don't know. So this is all the inputs there, and uh, the result is this thing we call Uber Drape. Very and nice pronunciation. I did take German for three years in high school, so all I can do is say Uber and geschlossen. That's another good word to know. It means things are closed. Um, anyway, and so we can see uh, the terrain there, and that I think is Mark Ireland's house in Manitoba, the FME evangelist. Whoa. So uh, anyway, there we go. So that just shows you, again, integrating some stuff uh, with raster, and off we go.